Here I am scrolling through my Twitter feed and I see a post that just makes me sick to my stomach. Now, to be fair, I'm stressed. I have an assignment and a midterm in two days. I have way too much caffeine in my system and I'm just a little bit crazy right now, I'm not gonna lie. So what am I doing? I'm studying and as I'm studying, what am I actually doing? I'm on Twitter scrolling, wasting countless hours like any normal university student does and gets absolutely no work done. And I see a post, an anime related post Nay, a tournament bracket to be more specific. And being the tournament bracket king that I am, it caught my attention. And I see right away in the center of the bracket, the winner is Demon Slayer. And I'm, I'm not too surprised or shocked. It's a fantastic anime. I'm like, oh, it's probably a seasonal anime bracket or a currently, like a currently watching or a currently airing bracket. Cool. What do I see? Greatest anime of all time chosen by anime Twitter. And at that point, I'm just like a, a little, a little bit, a little like nauseous, a little bit sick. Can't believe that's even a possible take. It, honestly, I still think this is bait. It has to be bait. Honestly, I dove in the water. I took that bait. I'm a little bit triggered. So this account, Deep Fried Katsu, tweeted, we finally have a winner for Twitter's greatest of all time anime series. Over 15,000 total votes. New generation of anime completely destroyed the old generation. Rest in peace and say hello to the new big four. In the finals, they had Demon Slayer versus My Hero Academia. Terrible finals. Um, and I, I love Demon Slayer. I'm, I, I suck off Demon Slayer quite a bit. But neither of them are in my top 25 anime of all time. When I make videos like Demon Slayer Far Surpassed My Hero Academia, I'm just talking about relevant, interesting anime that I, I do like. But they're not, they're not my favorite. They're not the best of all time. Are you freaking kidding me? And uh, like, it's got to be bait. It's set up to trigger people. But I figured as the bracket king, I have to go through how this actually should have went down. So let me just pull this up here. Super quickly, we have Attack on Titan versus The Promised Neverland. One Piece versus Hunter Hunter. Oh my god, is that a crazy matchup? My Hero Academia versus Berserk. Black Clover versus Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood. Code Geass versus Dr. Stone. Sword Art Online versus Naruto. Bleach versus Tokyo Ghoul. And Dragon Ball Z versus Demon Slayer. And obviously this has an insane recency bias. Um, they had Demon Slayer versus My Hero Academia in the finals. Whatever. Let's just jump into my opinion and what I think should have won. I'm trying to calm myself down. I'm breathing a little heavy. That's how... That's how, uh... It, it, this post got to me, not gonna lie. And usually I don't... I, I try to trigger other people. I... I took the bait this time. So we got Attack on Titan versus The Promised Neverland in first round. In the first round. And he had... Or Anime Twitter had The Promised Neverland Advance. I would have Attack on Titan Advance. Now, I love The Promised Neverland. I think it's a fantastic anime. Off Just going off the anime versus the Attack on Titan anime, Attack on Titan wins. Now, if we get into the source material, Attack on Titan still wins. Now, Attack on Titan and I have an interesting relationship. I kind of make fun of it. I don't. I think it's very story driven and not too character driven. At least into the at least in the beginning. And it started off so fucking hot, but the end of season one or the majority of season one was a little bit flat and boring and that's what I always say. I'm like, it starts off amazing, gets me invested, and then I'm like, oh, it kind of got boring. And then season two, fire. Season three, even better. And then it's like, okay, I start reading the manga. It's all right. It's all right. Chapter 100 through 125, some of the best manga I've ever read. Honestly, I can't hype it up enough. And I, I made fun of it for a long time. And I, I, I still do because I like the trigger animac. But Attack on Titan Despite the fact that The Promised Neverland is solid and a great series, Attack on Titan wins. I'm sorry. The next round is potentially two of the greatest shonen of all time, and this one could go either way. I'm actually not even upset that Hunter x Hunter won. It's Hunter x Hunter versus One Piece, by the way. I'm not upset Hunter x Hunter won. I think a lot of uh, anime critics or anime YouTubers would probably do the same. Now, I'm kind of a, a One Piece guy. I don't know if you could tell, but... I'm going to try to remain objective here. The height of Hunter x Hunter, I'm talking about the end of the Chimera Ant arc, is probably better than any moment we've gotten in One Piece, in my opinion. But, as an overall series, I'm going off of the One Piece manga, which is the better v version of the story, versus the Hunter x Hunter anime, which is the better version of the story, in my opinion, because Hunter x Hunter manga looks like poo, and the One Piece anime is paced and looks like doo-doo. So, One Piece manga looks amazing, Hunter x Hunter anime looks great, 
And honestly, they're the better versions of the two. I think Hunter x Hunter is very info heavy and the anime actually makes it easy to understand and quick and like kind of gets the point across quickly. Well, I could be reading a page in Hunter x Hunter that looks like ass and has so much text that honestly I lose concentration and can't follow it. But I'm going off for the Hunter x Hunter anime versus the One Piece manga. I am very biased. These are fantastic series. This could be the finals of a shonen bracket. Honestly, I think it may have been. It may have been the finals for one of my recent brackets. But One Piece has a special place in my heart. I'm trying to judge this unbiased, which isn't even possible. But One Piece, I like the characters better. But the villains are better, are better in Hunter x Hunter. Story? One Piece is just kind of made for a long-running story. It's got a all of them have individual ambition. There's an end goal. The adventure makes sense. They're pirates on a journey. Well, Hunter x Hunter, kind of confused. It's not about, it's like, I don't really give a shit about going finding his dad. But beyond that, where's the story going? When the anime ended, I, I was so lost. Like, not lost, but I was, like, kind of let down. And then it's just like, what's happening now in the manga? It's focusing on uh, Karapika. What's happening with our main character, Gon? It just, like... Story-wise, giving it to One Piece. Main characters, giving it to One Piece. Villains, I'll, I'll give it to Hunter x Hunter. Fights, probably Hunter x Hunter. Hype moments, One Piece definitely has more. It's a close call. Overall, I think I had more enjoyability. And overall, as like a full-on product, I do think that One Piece is better. The art's better, obviously. Um, I don't know, it's, it's a tough choice, but I'm going to advance One Piece. So, so far, I disagreed with the first two rounds. The third round's an absolute joke. My Hero Academia versus Berserk. Um, Berserk wins when you go if you go off the, again the manga versus the Berserk manga versus the My Hero Academia anime, which is the best two versions in my opinion. Berserk wins if you go anime against anime. Ninety seven Berserk wins. Um, the only thing that wouldn't win would be the twenty sixteen Berserk, which is just honestly garbage. But Overall, I think My Hero Academia is a solid show. It's very average. It is not even close to the quality that Berserk brings to the table. So Berserk's advancing. I disagree three rounds in a row. Fourth round, I actually agree, surprisingly. We have Black Clover versus Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Um, FMA Brotherhood as a full product in every possible category kills it. It's an amazing, amazing anime that I cannot recommend enough. I think every anime fan should watch it. It's fantastic. Black Clover, I want to give it give it credit where credit is due. The, the manga is great. It kept on getting better and better. The anime, I wasn't sure about it, but then it, even the anime got better. It's a fantastic show. I think I like it better the, than My Hero Academia and maybe a couple other things on this list like Sword Art Online, for example, but it's a mismatch. It's a, it's a kind of an easy decision. Fullmetal Optimus Brotherhood wins. I'm going to take a second just to get some water. <sighs> Sorry, I needed to get a quick drink. Um, Code Geass versus Dr. Stone. As much as I love Dr. Stone, I think it's really, really good and surprisingly good, honestly. The concept's great. I think they're crushing it. Code Geass Season 1 is absolutely spectacular, and the ending of Season 2 is actually a masterpiece. I could not recommend Code Geass enough, I'm very looking forward to what Dr. Stone has to bring to the table. I think it's a fantastic anime. Are they even comparable at this point? Absolutely not. So then we got Sword Art Online versus Naruto. And they actually made Sword Art Online Advance, which is crazy. I think I like the first 12 episodes. I think it's good. I wish they extended it longer, really fleshed out the characters, and actually went through the world rather than just time skipping their way through it and making it kind of just Kirito being great. But I, I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Um, kind of goes downhill, uphill, downhill. It's kind of a roller coaster. Uh, Naruto, on the other hand, is an absolute classic. The pacing's kind of trash in the anime. A lot of filler. If you read the manga, you could kind of skip that. I don't even know why I'm kind of like going through this slowly. Naruto's iconic. It is. It's not even like, oh, I'm voting for it because of the nostalgia. It's just better in every way. The fights are better. The characters are better. The world, ah! Yeah, the world. Uh, okay, maybe I'll give the world to Sword Art Online because of the idea itself. But did they capitalize on that idea? Absolutely not. So I'm going to give the world to Naruto. I'll take that back. Um, anything else? Story, themes? Everything. Naruto wins in literally every category. Whoever made this bracket is either trolling 
likely trolling or just or if do they go off votes? I couldn't find any, any vote, votes or polls that they referred to. Um, maybe there were polls and everyone just voting for the hot new thing and hasn't seen anything past a couple years ago. Um, whatever. Next round. I'm gonna stop getting <coughs> annoyed here. We got Bleach versus Tokyo Ghoul. Um, I, I'll agree with this round. I think Tokyo Ghoul is kind of uh, it's mid. Bleach also kind of uh, it's all right. <laughs> I don't know that's not very descriptive in any way. I think the first two arcs in Bleach are fantastic. The Soul Society arc specifically being literally one of my favorite arcs in all of Shonen. I think it's amazing. One amazing battle after another. I like the whole idea of rescuing Rukia. I like the fact that Ichigo had to train. The setup with Aizen. The twist. Um, introducing these absolutely badass captains. Ichigo learning his Bonkai. The soundtrack. Everything about it was fire. And then it's just kind of like a roller coaster afterwards. Kind of like what I said with SAO. But I'm not going to compare Bleach to SAO. Bleach is way better. But compared to Tokyo Ghoul, it was just all right. Yeah, uh, season two was kind of trash. The ending of season one, I liked it. Yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. It's a, it's a pretty gamer uh, gamer moment. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying right now. Dragon Ball Z versus Dream Slayer in the next round. Now, I know I said this video has, uh, or this bracket has a lot of recency or relevance or new anime bias, but I might be biased here as well. Now, I love Dragon Ball Z. Let's be real. I grew up, I watched all of Dragon Ball, all of Dragon Ball Z, Super Kai... Uh, GT, go to watch all the movies in person. Am I wearing a Dragon Ball Z shirt right now or Super shirt right now? I am. I love Dragon Ball Z. I think it's fantastic. I think it's a lot of fun. I have so much nostalgia towards it, but I have zero complaints about Demon Slayer thus far. Do I think it's going to be the best anime on everything here? No. Do I think I'm actually like, may have liked it more? If I were to go back right now and watch all of Dragon Ball Z and watch all of Demon Slayer, I'm going to like Demon Slayer more. I already know. I'm not going to let my nostalgia beat me in this category. Demon Slayer advances. Moving to the next round of the bracket, we have the Promised Neverland. No, no. My bad. I was going off of their mistakes. We got Attack on Titan versus One Piece. One Piece advances. Easy. To be fair, Attack on Titan in the manga currently is crazy, crazy good. The last 30 chapters have been some of the best manga I've ever read. Now, what is the best manga I've ever read? One Piece. So One Piece is going to advance. The last five chapters of Wano. Oh my god. Like, <laughs> like overall, the One Piece manga is consistently amazing. Attack on Titan, on the other hand, I don't know. I'm a very character-driven guy. I don't really like the characters that much. Maybe around a chapter of 100, it starts changing my mind. It shouldn't take me 100 chapters to start liking the characters. You know how long it took me to like the characters in One Piece? The first chapter. The very first chapter, which was a flashback, Romance Dawn, in the manga, wasn't even the current story. I still love the characters. Oda is an absolute mad lad. One Piece advances to the quarterfinals. Next, we got Berserk versus Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood. And this hurts. This honestly hurts. I feel like I want to vote for Berserk here. But the problem is, Berserk also has its highs and lows. While I have zero complaints with Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood, this is tough. Also, Berserk is not finished. How, I don't, do I know how it's going to end? No. Do I kind of like... I, like when Berserk is good, it is so, so good. The art is absolutely amazing, but story-wise, it's so good. Does it have a good adaptation? Not really. Um, do we, do we don't know the end. We don't know where it's going to go. Full Morocco's Brotherhood is complete and so, like, all-around perfect, almost. Like, I have zero complaints, other than the beginning of Full Metal Alchemist. It's a little bit weird. It almost assumes that you have watched... The original Fullmetal Alchemist, which I think is good in its all, it's in its own right. Um, I should be looking at the camera a little bit more. I'm just kind of ranting, having fun with this one. I'm gonna vote for Fullmetal Alchemist over Berserk here. This is a tough round. I don't know why they would have My Hero Academia go through here when you have options like Berserk and Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood. Absolutely insane. I thought I was the insane one. What are they doing anyway? 
So we got Fumano Aquins Brotherhood and One Piece advancing to the quarterfinals. And on the other side, we have Code Geass versus Naruto. As much as I love Naruto, Code Geass is a fantastic, amazing series. It's a very easy decision for me. I love good endings, right? The Code Geass ending, masterpiece. The Naruto ending, eh, not so good. Um, I feel like Naruto just wasn't made to be as long as it was. It stretched out. The war was kind of ass. The war made up a hundreds of episodes um the pain arc of shippuden great um tuning exams great most of the original naruto is honestly solid if you skip all the filler and could handle the pacing but the overall code geass is a way way more like clean and well-polished series code geass advances to the next round now we have demon slayer versus bleach Again, it's a hard decision because Demon Slayer is... I have, like, no complaints off of the 24 episodes that I watched and I started reading the manga and I'm very much enjoying it. I'm super stressed because of the school or else I would have 100% finished it by now. But Bleach... I feel like the best of Bleach beats the best of Demon Slayer. I'm going to have to be biased here. Even the bad arcs of Bleach are still, like... Pretty good. Like, I say they're bad because I'm comparing it to the Soul Society, when in reality, they're average arcs. Demon Slayer is, is very, like, very good, but also... What, okay, let me let me talk about what, what Demon Slayer does right here for a second. It looks beautiful. The fights are amazing. The pacing was so fast. Battle after battle after battle for the first 20 episodes. The last four were a little slow, but I don't care about that. The first 20 were amazing. It's like... How can you maintain that speed of amazing animation and fantastic battles and still make me care about the characters and give the characters backstories and give the villains meaningful backstories, have them develop mid-fight? The fights are also super dynamic. You can't just be like, huh, 100 million percento uh, Super Saiyan one punch. It's like <sighs> Tanjiro learns throughout the battle. That arrow fight, so good. I'm, you know what? I just convinced myself Demon Slayer is advancing. Demon Slayer versus Code Geass and One Piece versus Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood. Now, as much as I compliment Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood on how perfect it is as, as a series, the only negatives I could possibly think of for One Piece is the anime. If I just go off of the manga, I have no complaints. I like the characters better in One Piece than I do in FMA, even though the characters are fantastic in FMA. Story... It's, it's a hard one because the story comes together so nicely at the end of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and we don't know how One Piece ends. I'll give story to Full FMA. Um, what else are we going to go off of here? Powers, power system, Full Metal Alchemist wins again. Do I have to give it to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? Hmm. It's hard because I'm a very character-driven guy as much as I love the One Piece characters, I love their ambition, and I love the story. They even made me love the villains, like Buggy. Uh, Law's not a villain, but like, even like, people outside the crew. I love Doflamingo. They made me hate Don Krieg. Arlong, oh, the Arlong arc was so good. People rip on Skypea. I think Skypea is great. Alabasta is fantastic. New World, it's been alright so far. Wano right now, amazing. I'm just like, talking because I want to somehow make One Piece win. But Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood is like a perfect series. It really, it really, really is. Um, even the freaking movie was good. How do you even do that? The ending of the movie, the ending of the original series, the ending of Brotherhood, they're all amazing. Bringing in the Seven Deadly Sins and having that be... Hohenheim? Was that his, was that his name? No, Father. Father thing. The um, homunculus and the flask. All the themes and knowledge and... Human transmutation. I'm just ranting because I want to make One Piece win, but Fullmetal Metal Alchemist has to win. God damn it. All right, FMA goes to the finals, and then we have Dr. Stone versus Code Geass. Code Geass versus Dr. St uh, no, Dr. Stone, what am I saying? Code Geass versus Demon Slayer. Code Geass wins. It's Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood versus Code Geass in the finals, and One Piece wins it all. I what? No way. Okay, but there's a lot of anime that should have been included in this list that weren't. Lo like Tokyo Ghoul Sword Art Online, what the fuck are you even doing in a list of the greatest of all time anime? I was joking about One Piece, even though it wins. Um, Code Geass versus Fumaru Alchemist Brotherhood. I'm probably gonna vote for uh, Code Geass. 
I, I, I know the second season is not perfect, but the ending beats the ending of Fullmetal Alchemist Brother because the ending is amazing. I like the power system or the powers of the Gios more. I like the main character more. Characters overall, FMA wins. Both of these, like, it's, a, it's, it's such a close matchup that I almost have to give it to One Piece. <laughs> but I think I'm going to give it to Code Geass this time around. And it's funny, like, where's Death Note? Why is Death Note not on here? Where's Steins Gate? Where is, um, well, I guess if we're talking about great fights, where's Hajime no Ippo? This list is um, kind of mid, I'm not going to lie. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this random ass rant. I have, I didn't even thank you guys for 100,000 subscribers. What am I doing? I, Saturday after my midterm and assignment, I'm going to be doing, dropping a video, thank you, official thank you video for 100k. But I'm also going to be doing, I don't even know, I'm not going to spoil it actually. I don't want to spoil it. In that video, I announced one, two, three different things. One thing that'll be going on as the video drops. Whew. I'm not going to spoil it. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know who you think should have won this bracket. Do you think it was bait? It was probably bait now that I think of it. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten heated, but at least I got like a 20 minute break from um, studying. I got to get back to work though. I'll see you guys Saturday. And uh, just like that, I'll see you all next time. Shin Pop, thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers. Bye.